Yo, 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 b-boys and fly girls. Yo, sup, this be GPS, which is gangster player Slim, yo. And today we be looking at this fine weapon, which is from my friend, the engineer. And he's a good brother, because this is episode 69. Yeah, baby, take it up, but this is going to be the short circuit. And I'm totally a gangster. Okay, cool. So we're going to be looking at the short circuit today, because it's a cool, cool weapon. Probably one of the most underrated weapon, uh... Takes 35 metal when you shoot, it's secondary for the engineer, and uh, you remove projectiles, and that's it. So we gotta look at that, cool, awesome. And I can't see shit with his sunglasses. Yeah, here we go, yes. So this is a Frostal, he uh, was so nice to uh, supply me with uh, replays, there he is. He's now doing what a lot of engineers should be doing on pubs, is that if you see teleporters outside your spawn and they're not upgraded, just fucking upgrade them. Yes, good. That's my homeboy. Yes, there we go. Very nice down. So he's going to be running uh, Frontier Justice, Gunslinger, and the Short Circuit. So uh, we're just going to be seeing how he uses the uh, Short Circuit here, just how it works. Okay, so he hasn't been presented with an opportunity to use it yet. Uh, currently just using this to deal with scouts and stuff. Can be very annoying. And here we have the Short Circuit. And the thing is, within a certain range, uh, I think until about here, any projectile within like a square, you remove with one shot. It doesn't matter how many it is, if it's one or, or one, two, or eighty, it doesn't really matter. And you missed the first one, as dark hits pretty hard to hit because, you know, dark hits so fast. So there we go. And I'm uh, gonna be looking around here and up. Oh. Using the. Uh, let's see if he can. Nope, nothing. Couldn't use the short circuit there. Let's get a little sentry here. Which gets immediately taken out by a soldier. And he's like really ready. Okay. Oh, okay. Using using short circuit. Come on. Okay, crap. So you see already, like, if you're not used to using the short circuit, like, when you're supposed to use it and positioning and stuff like that, it's pretty hard. Because it's pretty different from every single weapon uh, the engineer has. And it only works against demo men and soldiers. Uh, as well as the sentry gun rocket. And uh, the stream is laggy, and that's not my fault, that's Twitch, so you should send an angry email to them. And uh, it's gonna be building a sentry up here, which is gonna... which died immediately. Soldier jumping down at, uh, after him. Uh, taking out the soldier. So, yeah, I've seen him. He hasn't been able to really, really use uh, this uh, short circuit that much. He's just trying, because keep in mind it does like five damage per shot. Okay, he doesn't even remove those because they get detonated. Oh, he removes one, removes two. Nine, three stickies. He's actually saved his team from three sticky bombs. And I think I actually saved his team right there, so that was a nice job. Excellent work there. And of course, he uses the Frontier Justice, which is uh, if your uh, sentry gun gets an assist kill on something, you get one crit, and if you kill somebody, you get two crits. And you only have like three shot in one magazine before you have to reload, so. Um, Preferably uh, the regular shotgun is usually better in most of the cases as it doesn't rely itself on being able to get kills. So we see oh, a bunch of uh, sticky bombs and pipes and eventually gets taken out. Because here's the thing about this thing. My brothers and sisters in the hood and west west side and, and the hippity hop is that um, you only have five shots. Total, because it takes 35 metal, and he uses metal that, you know, metal that you use to build and stuff, and you use that. So you have to have a lot of metal, and you got to have the balls, and you got to have the positioning. Yo. So we're just going to go into the next replay here, uh, which is uh, pretty good, actually, considering Frostal was lagging like a motherfucker, for the most part. Or, excuse me, like a mother. Yeah, cool. So teams have been scrambled, and that's a good indicator that teams are highly balanced. Um, so we're just gonna be fast forwarding until the gates open here. So, it's gonna... so you can actually build in the corner, but decides not to. And here you have, see, uh, yeah, there's like a lot of sticky bombs here. There's like eight here and eight over here. So, but here's the thing, with the uh, short circuit, this is not a problem if your team has the brains to not run up top of these fucking bombs. Five, four, three, two, one. So let's see here what it does. Takes out four stickies and takes out them stickies as well. There's only one left. And that. 
that didn't really take that long. That was actually pretty short. It was like, psh, psh, eight stickies gone. Because usually, the only other weapon that can remove stickies that fast are the Scudder's Resistance. And that's like explosion-based. But this thing is actually, you know, it homes in by itself. So you might say, yeah, well, you could use the shotgun to remove uh, stickies. Well, the shotgun has a spread. And you only, you know, the pellets only remove stickies if they actually hit. But with this thing, you don't have to. Because it just goes, pew, pew. And then he's gonna go back into spawn, grab more ammo, and he's gonna go out. And his team is looking pretty strong, lots of power classes. And the enemy team is looking pretty strong too, lots of power classes there as well. So teams aren't as horrible, but uh, his lag is uh, rather horrible. Um, and also, fun fact, it doesn't detect cloaked spies, so you can't use this for a spy check. So there we have Frostle again up with this. And one thing that you'll notice is that on, uh, on a card, there is a dispenser that gives you 40 metal every mm, so often. And you can actually spam the short circuit. So if you're an engineer and you're on the cart, you don't really use the Wrangler and you don't really use the pistol, the short circuit will be actually pretty good of denying any kind of like sticky bomb spam, pipe spam, and rocket spam from coming onto the cart. So he's gonna be trying and doing that now. And let's just see how that works out in his favor in third perspective. So uh, he shoots and doesn't really hit anything uh, because there's nothing to hit. Oh, a couple of bombs there and a couple of bombs behind him. Shooting around as you see, he hit his teammates without actually removing them. You see, we're gonna be running out the cart here, doing uh, pretty well. This team is taking quite a good forward position without having anyone pushing the cart whatsoever. So it's like a frost will he's back again because his brother was downloading stuff or something. I don't know. And yeah, it's a spy behind him. The spies gonna get a couple of stabs because the team. Uh, Fucking oblivious, two spies. Let's see, oh, where did Frost go? Yes, Frostle's up here now. Spies up in his stuff. There we go, he's uh, opted to go the regular uh, stuff. He actually removes, come on! Get him! Oh. All right, so it's, it's, it's a bit hard to use. Wait, hang on. It's a bit tough to use, yo. Because, you know, short circuit is kind of gangsta. It's like nullifying those mother mother hopping soldiers yo so um we're gonna go into the next one which is just basic short circuit abuse uh because if used correctly you can actually stop a crits uber on a soldier or a demo pretty much unless the soldier's just like hey i'm gonna use a shotgun now and you just go oh snap So he's gonna be uh, on a frost layer on a foundry. He's gonna be running up uh, to the middle here. And the short circuit doesn't come to use that often, as you can see. It's not like one of those weapons where you can just use them all the time. Like uh, with Demo Man, you can use secondary and primary just about as much and just spam and do a ton of damage with that. But with the short circuit, you really can't because there's only one function that is removing projectiles. That is it. It does hardly any damage. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, it can. Like people ask me in the chat, uh, you might have been joining a bit later, but uh, in the beginning, it can actually destroy sentry rockets, which can be useful. But keep in mind, if you're being hit by sentry rockets, there's also a huge chance that you'll be hit by the bullets. <laughs> that also kills you. So we're seeing Frostle here running around, uh, not being entirely sure what to do here. Spies and stuff around, charging down those cloaked spies. So it consumes metal, got to be careful not to spam it too much because then you'll be out of metal and I'm an engineer out of metal is not very good engineer. So he's going to be yeah, changing a rocket, another rocket, no damage done. And he, uh, he has, he's sure to like swarm around where there's like lots of ammo and metal because if you do that you can spam it a lot more. But if the metal is like gravel pit and is short on metal, you can't really use it that much. It also depends if you have dispensers and stuff nearby as well. So right now he sees he's using it for on a 5 CP match, which is usually pretty hard for engineers in general, just because you know had to the spawns get moved back and forth and you have to like change positions and all that crap. Uh, so it's a bit harder to use on um, this map. So removing another sticky, uh, no, another pipe, no problem. Just gonna build stuff everywhere and up. Oh, didn't really get that. Uh, oh, another rocket taking it out, taking no damage whatsoever. And but there's just so much red on the point. He has to retreat and fall back. This is putting down mini sentries all over the place. Keep in mind, mini sentries are good against scouts. Because scouts are highly mobile, and mini sentries can't move. Unless you pick them up, but then they can't shoot. 
So yeah, we um, see Russell running back and forth there, um, barely saving, not saving his uh, sentry gun there. Oh, another, oh, he actually saves his sentry gun but by being taken out, just keep in mind those uh, sticky bombs actually does over 100 damage if they're uh, right next or as close as possible to the target. But actually by removing those sticky bombs, he actually saved his sentry gun and it actually did a little extra damage here. And he's just denying this demo man, but he's out of ammo. Gotta fall back and freaking grab some more because that thing eats metal. It's like 35 per shot and if you have 200, that is five shots and you're empty. Our control point is being captured. Taking out the scout as well because the scout's like, yeah, I'm gonna stand still and a scout comes on with uh, you know, with the quick fix and stuff and he's gonna be forced to roll back and his team does not have any mini whatsoever. The and the enemy player is one more on them and this is not looking very good for them at all. So we still have Frostle though, he's being a hero, he's the only engineer on his team, top fragging the heavy, which he normally shouldn't. The scout goes down to Natasha, which is good against the scouts. Just being and they're not looking too good right now, and uh, there they lose. So, wait, hang on. Yeah, so don't be disrespecting the engineer, brother. All right, so that was the um, uh, like basic short circuit abuse. You can see, like, it's really useful when Demoman is trying to take out your sentry, yo. Because that, that can be a bit of a trouble. And teams are being scrambled, always a good indicator that teams are balanced and stuff like that. Still in Foundry, still Frostal, and he's gonna be running out of here with the Engineer using the Shotgun, Short Circuit, and the Gunslinger, having those mini entries. So he is just gonna build stuff around, I guess, and they're gonna be moving up, doing damage with a Shotgun to the targets he sees. Building a Dispenser in a very vulnerable location, but there's no red here because they're all dead. And now he helps to have this out, so in case our incoming crits comes along, he'll be able to deal with that. Not that it's gonna happen, because the medic is dead and probably running regular over. Let me see how... Uh, yeah, they capped the point. They're gonna keep moving on. The good engineers should. And... Putting sentry on top of high ground is usually good. You know, being above your target is usually be better than being below on your target. In most of the cases, always. Oh, double rocket taking out one rocket. Uh, two rockets, but it actually hits. Crap, there's so many rockets everywhere. It's so hard, and he's out of ammo. Crap. All right, so he could have averted somewhere. There's a soldier still shooting. Strong. Crit rocket coming in. Taking out that rocket. Taking out, almost taking out the second rocket, but, you know, not taking damage. Falling back, and the soldier has wasted rockets. So I guess that's a good thing if you can come out on top of that. And they're building mini sentries because they're good against scouts. He's on the scout here, and then he dies because the scout comes and just shoots him in the. He shoots him in the butt! Episode 69! Yeah. 69 is cool on the west side, yo. I'll be like, yo, 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 B boy, Snake Dog G, what? And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, listen up. We gotta launch the short circuit to blah, blah, those pow, majiggy dog, rocket, majiggy, diggy, diggy, dung, dung, mega ranks. What? Still here? Still Frostal? Still on his uh, opposing team is a bit more wonky, having five support classes out of nine. That means they have four classes to do damage. And out of those four, there's only three. So he's gonna be running up here. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Yes, in the middle. Like, good, great. So let's just see what he does. Frostal's running around, putting down. Sentry here. This will work as a spotter in case enemy scout comes down here, and if he sees that thing starts to shoot, there's either something here or something here in that matter, because nothing really, you know, goes around up here and you know survives. But anyway, capping the point as well. I'm gonna see Frostal uh, running forward. Uh, taking out some rockets, denying that. Actually, missed that because I'm an. I'm a disrespecting brother. Yo. So here we have Frostle. I actually forgot that he was gonna do this. Yes, here we go. Short circuit time. Missing the rocket. Taking out one rocket. And the soldier actually kills himself. All right, cool, that saved him. That was nice, uh, and you missed that, so fuck that, I'm not gonna show that a third time. Screw that. 
Face cam is good. Yes, good, great. Alert. The control point is being contested. Alert. Face the cam is good, yo. Is and oh, but <laughs> the crit sticky on the wall. Crit sticky on the wall. Just being like, yeah, taking that out. I'm not gonna bother with that thing in the back. Because that's just a regular sticky. Alright, cool. Okay, so he's gonna be doing something really cool. He's gonna be building sentry and then a dispenser, because why not? It's not like this place is the most vulnerable spot you could possibly build a dispenser, but I guess that's fine. Sniper comes in and he's like, oh yeah, sentry. Okay, cr oh, go. And he's just gonna be building this so his teammates can heal on it, I guess. He has a soldier here, that's good, and a scout as well. And Pyro comes in! And the dispenser actually saves him, so good job there. And nothing more interesting really happens. He just runs around, fixes this, and then I win. Yeah, congratulations, you win. Shit. So good, bro. Episode 69. Is that, that's a cool number. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, yes. So that was all the uh, user submitted ones. Uh, it was only Frostal for now because Short Circuit is kind of eh to use for a lot of players, but it's definitely one of the most underrated underdogs weapons for the NG, yo. So now it's me playing, and we're going to be playing on Badlands as an engineer. And the reason we're just working on this teleport is because we actually have a working exit that we're going to use. So we just can go, boom, there we go, yes, on top of here, and this is actually a pretty good teleporter if you're able to hold it down, because this is going to be hard. There's not a lot of metal, and there's a very vulnerable position, so we're just going to try to move this uh, dispenser up here. Down. And we're going to be moving up, moving up, 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 okay. The reason we dropped it there was I thought the soldier might see me, which he did, so I just dropped it. And that's important, uh, just for playing engineer in general, is that if you're carrying stuff, and then somebody sees you and you might risk dying while carrying your stuff just just drop it on the floor and resist doesn't matter it's better that the dispenser die than you die and the dispenser and right now we're moving pretty slow right so i'm not sure if the carrying engineer speed is enough to jump over this ledge so i'm gonna do something tricky here without having any hands because basically what you can do, you can jump, and while in mid-air, you grab this. Because then you have the same momentum as when you were just uh, running normally. Like that. And we barely made the jump. Good. So we're going to build this uh, dispenser here, and then we're going to build a teleporter. We're going to be working on that without our hand. It's a pyro here. He goes down to shotguns. The shotgun is good. Building a mini center. Oh, there's a soldier! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, taking out one rocket. Cool. Okay, we delayed our death by... Exactly one rocket before everything is killed. <laughs> Shit. So, uh, that was an example on how uh, you can actually save your stuff by like one second longer uh, just by removing those rockets. So, we're just gonna go on to the next one where we're trying to short circuit more. Uh, because the thing about short circuit, it requires a lot of practice. Yo. <laughs> Because it's just so far from any other weapon, and the reason, and like, like, you can only shoot five times and you're out. So you can't, like, rely on, like, totally denying, like, a soldier or a demo from doing damage. It's not possible, because a soldier, he has four rockets, so he only needs to reload three times and shoot, and then you're out of ammo. A demo man has freaking eight sticky bombs in one, like, in one go, so you cannot, you know, he can just keep shooting, so... That's important. They were using the Pomsum because I thought, why not use something that's broken with something that's rather balanced. And the Pomsum is a, is a, you know, saving friends with pipes there. You saw, it was almost hitting his cell legs and then we just removed it. And the Pomsum is really broken, we'll be covering that some other time. And, um, just gonna be, the reason I'm building it dispenser here is because I'm gonna move it later so I'm just building it to have it build and then we're gonna go up and secure the location uh, because I feel like my team and I we uh, contest this area pretty well and then we build a sentry here that gets immediately taken up by this scout and now we know there's someone up there so I'm just shooting up and uh, doing this and keep in mind if you can need a medic he will lose like a lot of uber so you better try and do that because valve hates medics apparently 
We run back here, grab more uh, ammo, and build another sentry here. It's just gonna work as a spotter. We saw a lot of stuff here. And, oh crap, tons of bombs. Okay, short circuit time. Removing one type, getting take. Okay, we removed one, but we still lost the sentry, so not a win-win situation for us there. And uh, the Pumpson isn't really that great, it's just more annoying, especially for medics and spies. So it actually should do a lot more damage, it has like random crits and everything. And there we go, yes! Here we have probably the worst uh, handling of a situation, because here we have two dispenser. I'm like, I'm gonna put this dispenser right next to my buddies. And here's the thing, there's a soldier and he's fired a rocket, and rockets are good against buildings because they do damage and stuff like that. So, here's the thing, with this double dispenser i'm actually able to try and defend this because i will have enough metal to just shoot and keep him at bay until uh some teammate of mine yes yeah, some teammates uh actually get up to my position and then i'm like okay oh, use the oh okay dispenser down crap okay just shoot another okay you're not gonna shoot at me okay i'll just um uh, i'll work on this then okay i'm ready okay fuck i'll just shoot lasers okay i got you got you great good so just by being completely unprepared and not used to this way, I actually let my friend's dispenser die when I could easily just use the short circuit to uh, reflect that. And there's a pyro, and pyro gun is also heavy, we're gonna false retreat and fall back. Uh, running back as we shoot. And then we get taken out by a scout. Because that's what happens, yo, when you, like, scouts be, like, from Boston and shit, they'd be like, west side, and you're like, basement and I like shoot you and then you die and you're like oh stop disrespecting my PhDs yo so next replay is actually not about the short circuit it's just something really funny that happened while I was using the short circuit because the short circuit can be good on defense if you're not using the Wrangler yo because um if a demo man tries to shoot their sticky bombs and stuff like that you'll have a level 3 dispenser and a level 3 sentry and you like be able to stop that for the most part but it's like you know Depend totally depends uh, what you're most comfortable with because I think like you can become really really good with the uh, short circuit I've seen some people do some amazing stuff with that in a competitive play So we're just gonna be working here on our uh, sentry gun and getting that to level uh, 2 eventually Working 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 working. Okay, and here comes the cart and we only have a level 2 dispenser. And we have a level 2 sentry gun So as of right now, I don't have the wrangler and uh, the thing about the wrangler is Whenever you use the wrangler you kind of have to do or die. So I'm just like oh, I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna move this as well, and oh crap, okay, we're taking a lot of damage, I uh, won't be able to hold this off, sentries taking so much damage, we're just gonna be, yep, just gonna go up, oh, oh and a teleporter, I wonder where this goes, to the worst possible location, okay, so, the engineer that built this, he was like, huh, there's like a drop here from a sewer, and I'm gonna build my teleporter, and my dispenser there and then I'm gonna build on the high ground my sentry so in case I have to repair this I have to go from this dispenser run around the edge where I'm vulnerable for anyone standing here to shoot me run up here and then run back to repair this all right dude, this is just awful all right this is probably worse sentry <laughs> sentry and dispenser from teleporter placements I'm like all right oh shit all right so we gotta make the most of it Okay, engineer is here. He's here to help, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm just uh, looking." And we have another engineer here. Cool. All right, we're saved. They're not gonna help me. Oh damn! All right, can you spot something that's wrong? Because the cards are gonna go directly above us, and we won't be able to hit shit with this sentry gun. Oh god, this is horrible. All right, so you're gonna try and take out this heavy. He hasn't even. Okay, take out the heavy. Good. Let's up the rest of his team. Is okay. Shoot a sniper down. He gets taken out, and we're still holding down in the bottom here. Doing good. Doing good, and if a demo man shoots, I have a short circuit that I can just remove all the projectiles with. And yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, we're holding, I put my dispenser up because, you know, it's a bit late to move it. The sentry is dead, died so fast, didn't even bother showcasing it. And here comes a heavy, oh, with the, with a medic. Two medics, two heavy medics, two heavy, one medic. Oh, this Uber, oh, damn, I don't, I, oh, then I engineer shooting, and oh, the, the, Okay, so that didn't go well, it went very well, yo. Episode 69! Yeah, episode 69, because, you know, that's what we're gonna do. So, I'll, I'm gonna show you something where it's insanely powerful. Like, on defense, uh, on a pub, if you use it with 
other engineer brothers and two bros, uh, you will actually be able to pretty much be unbeatable in that sense if your team knows what they're doing. So this replay is actually eight minutes long because it took eight minutes before I fucking died. So let's just turn up to the fastest. So I'm gonna be here with another engineer. I'm the one with the pink hat. Um, this is probably free to play. I'm like, okay, purple, need a dispenser. And he's like, yeah, okay, uh, building. Um, okay. Uh, yes, okay, build. Okay, dispenser. I'm gonna watch a build. I'm not gonna hit it because if you hit it, you build faster. Okay, okay, he's gonna hit it now. Okay, so we got another sentry, another dispenser. As we're working on it, got a level three dispenser. So by the time it took that guy to build a sentry level two, I got a level three dispenser and a level three sentry. All right, cool. So we're, we're defending. Doing pretty well. They haven't gotten here yet. This cart is here, as you can see. And this is a pretty good position. This is a pretty standard spot. And we have three sentries here. And it's like, well, that's pretty weak against demo man. Like, one demo man can just come in and just launch a bunch of stickies up there. But that's the thing. There's three dispensers. I have seemingly limitless supply of uh, metal. And any, like, sticky bombs that comes up, I'll be able to remove with just using the short circuit. So just by spamming the short circuit every now and then in this setup right here, this rig is pretty much close to impossible to kill. However, there's a few flaws. We need a Spyro to spy check, because the only way spies can come through is through this door, uh, or here. So we need just a guy spy checking. And this sniper right here, if he just watches, like, this area down here for any demo man, there is no way they can actually kill this, because sentries have just so much health, do so much damage, and this is just so powerful. You can see I'm moving around like a crazy man because I don't want to get stabbed. Uh, just doing like shooting around in case any, you know, bombs comes up. And eventually a demo man's going to be like, hey, I'm going to try and take that out. But this is really hard to defend, man. Just running around. Doing a really good job. Three sentries, three engineers. And, you know, if you do this on a pub, most likely they will never ever get this. Bear. Some sticky bombs. Taking them out. Not doing a lot of damage. Comes the demo again. He's not able to do much without an Uber, and even if with the Uber, he's able to do. And then we have uh, like unlucky demo man. He's gonna try and do some stuff later. Yeah, there he is. Let's see. Double. That's really our only weakness. Oh, he fell down. Okay. That's really our only weakness. You know, Uber heavy is not able to going to be able to do much. We just repair everything. Haven't lost anything. There comes the Pyro doing spy checks. We're so safe right now. Enemy team has two spies, but we haven't seen any of those. And one guy has actually decided to go. Um, Go demo man. Here comes the lobbing a bunch of stickies up. You see, just removing those, no problem whatsoever. And we're just looking so strong right now, even though we just have two sentries instead of three, so we are a bit more vulnerable. So just running around, having still having the dispensers. Uh, doing pretty good. Cart's moving back. And this, this defense is just looking so strong. Demo man a bit unlucky with the pipes actually shooting them up on this ledge, but regardless, it wouldn't have mattered because we would just kill them anyway with the short circuit. So this is probably the most efficient way to use it that I've seen so far. You can probably do some fancy business running around with the Gunslinger as well. Uh, I do not recommend using the Widowmaker with it, because, you know, both weapons require metal. And the Widowmaker is kind of like do or die. It's like either either really, really good or total shit, depending on what you're doing. So here we have a Heavy. Oh, he's going to try and cap the point. He's actually not going to do that. So we're still holding on. Uh, it's about a few more seconds left. Uh, I'm unsure what I died from, but we'll see eventually. Yeah, it comes in a bunch of stickies and sticky, sticky, sticky. Yeah, you see. And sentry gun's actually taken out and we die. But, um. You know, we held out for like eight minutes and there was nothing we can do. And, like, at the end, you start to get sloppy because you don't pay attention or anything. So, uh, that was the Uber Defense, and that's gonna sum up episode 69! Yeah, cool. So, thank you for watching. Um. And I'm gonna tell you the topic for. Saturday because you only have Friday to collect the replays. It's going to be a bit of a different uh, topic than we usually do. Usually it's just like um, like you know item strategy oriented, but this is actually going to be the strategy which is hiding. Okay, this is just you can be like any class you want, any loadout, you know whatever. It's just going to be clever spots where you can hide. And not be seen even if you're not a spy. Like if you're a soldier, like you stay on top of a ledge or something. And then you wait until someone runs by and then you drop down and you kill them. Or you can do it as a spy or you can do that as any um, any, any kind of class you want. Any kind of like waiting and hiding and stuff like that with cloak and dagger or whatever. Uh, it'd be more interesting to see non-spy plays. But if you have some good spy plays where it shows like you're like really close to being detected but you're not. You can submit those. So submit those to highgpsreplays at gmail.com if you're unsure of how to send those. 
you can also just go to the stream page, which is twitch.tv slash highgps, which you're already watching if you're not. That's the page. And it has like a how to replay tutorial where I show you how to replay. So it's below, check that out. And also, if you want to suggest topics that you want me to cover, like there's some stuff you want, want me to like investigate or stuff like that, stuff you want to see, you can either uh, post it in the Steam group, uh, tweet me on Twitter, I'm highgpstf2 at Twitter. You can leave a comment, YouTube comment, or you can send me a private message. You can add me on Steam, which is heaviest GPS, and be like, hey, you should do an episode on blah, blah. You should do an episode on that. So, yeah, this is going to be an episode 69. And thanks to Frostle for submitting. And uh, we're going to do a raffle if... Yes, stream chat works. Stream chat works. Good. So we're going to be starting the raffle right now. And the raffle is about to commence because I'm just going to put this, push this generate random button a couple times. So we get a random number. Yeah. Okay, clicking, clicking, and we stop. Number two, which is Chris J10. All right, Chris J10. I'm going to need you to type your username in the chat so I can add you and give you your hats. Chris, Chris DJ 10. And we'll suddenly cut to when we have Chris DJ. And we currently have a trade here with Chris. So we're just going to give him the choices he has. Set. Okay, cool. So this is the choice you have right now. These are the items remaining of the first type of raffle. Uh, let's see. Yes, there it is. There it is. Um, where is that? There's the power jack and there's the degreaser. So, you can pick one of these sets. Which one will it be? He wants the pyro set. Cool. Good choice there. I hit pyros. We are done with a raffle. Accept the trade already, man. There you go, bro. Yeah. Shot got rude, mega rude. Yes, there we go. Trade is complete. Kill the music. Thank you guys for watching so much. This has been High JPS. All right. Shit. Okay. This has been the High JPS episode 69. 69.